video we are going to explain about the project title application of data mining methods in diabetes prediction Human body needs energy for the activation. The carbohydrates are broken down to glucose, which is important energy source for human body cells. Insulin is needed to important transport the glucose into the body cells. The blood uh, glucose is supplied with the insulin and glucogen hormones produced by pancreas. Insulin hormones produced by the beta cells of the islets of langerhans and glucogen hormones are produced by the alpha cells of the islets of langerhans in the pancreas when the blood glucose increases beta cells are stimulated and in- insulin is given to the blood insulin enables blood glucose to get into the cells and this glucose is used for energy so blood glucose is kept in a narrow range diabetes is a chronic kidney disease with the potential to cause a worldwide healthcare crisis The main objective of this problem statement is to predict diabetes disease prediction based upon the algorithm support vector machine logistic regression gaussian mixture model artificial neural network and extreme machine learning algorithm requirements hardware requirements we need operating system windows processor i5 and abo ram 4gb and abo hard disk 20gb and abo coming to the software requirements we need to install python with the version of 3.7 methodologies to implement this project we have designed few modules first one upload the diabetes data set in this module we are going to upload the diabetes data set to this application second module pre processing and generate try and test model in this model it Uh, we are going to read the data set and uh, analyze the data set non numericals and numericals values and if any numeric non numericals are there we are going to convert into the numerical values and then generate the split train of a data set into train and test particles with the 80 percentage of data set and 20 percentage of data set for the model then next model run gmm algorithm gmm algorithm is nothing but gaussian mixture model it, uh, in this module we are going to build the model and try with the trained data set and test the model with the test data set in the calculate of accuracy then uh, gmm model is nothing but gaussian mixture model it is a probabilistic model that assumes all the data points are generated from a mixture of a finite number of gaussian distributions with the mi- unle- unknown parameters one can think of uh, mixture models as generalized k means clustering and incorporate information about the coherence structure of the data as well as the centers of the latent gaussians the gaussian mixture model classifier is useful and also basic supervised classifier algorithm that can be able to classify a large group of n dimensions next module run support vector machine algorithm in this module we are going to train the build, train the model and build the algorithm support vector model and also test the data set with the support vector model to calculate the accuracy then fifth module run eml algorithm EML algorithm is nothing but extreme learning machines so in this module we are going to build the algorithm with the test data set and also test the algorithm with the uh, EML algorithm with the, uh, the test data set and calculate the accuracy score eml algorithm that is by extreme learning machines are feed forward neural networks for classification or regression with a single layer of hidden nodes where the weights connecting input or input to hidden nodes are randomly assigned and never updated the weights between hidden nodes and outputs are learned in a single step which especially amounts to learning a linear model according to the creators this model are about to produce good generalization performance and learns those thousands of food generation performance and thousands of times faster than network trained using back propagation the next module run 
logistic regression algorithm in this module we are going to build the algorithm logistic regression and classify the test basis based upon the calculation of accuracy then second seventh module that is run artificial neural network algorithm in this module we are going to build the artificial neural network model and generate the test basis of calculate the accuracy eighth module accuracy comparison graph in this module we are going to plot the graphical representation of accuracy comparison of the all the algorithms which we are used in this project ninth module predicting disease on the test data set using this module we are going to predict the data sets test data set using test data set and testing the uh, highest algorithm which was re uh, reflected in the project and predict the all test data sets output now coming to the execution close this file and go to the code file this is the code file consists of data set file which contains train and test files and this is the main code file and this is run bat file instead of executing the program in a command line interface we created windows bat file to execute the program by clicking double tab on it it leads to the graphical user interface which is interactive to the program user now click on the first button upload diabetes data set by clicking this button you can see dialog box open and select the diabetes data set and click on open now you can see that diabetes.csv file is data set is loaded and you can see the part of the file which was accessed here then next button pre processing and generate train and test data by clicking this button you can see the records which was split into the train and test data set that are 80% and 20% of the whole data set. Now click on the run Gaussian mixture model. By clicking this button you can see the accuracy of the Gaussian mixture model which was built and also tested with the test data. Now click on the run support vector machine algorithm. So you can see the support vector machine accuracy and now click on the run extreme machine learning model. You can see the accuracy and the run logistic regression model. Logistic regression models accuracy and click on the button run ANN algorithm and you can see in the back console the approaches are generated and after the approach is completed it will result the accuracy in the graphical user interface. So we have kept the approaches here 200 so within span of 2 to 5 seconds the approaches will run and it will generate build the model and it will generate the accuracy score with the test data now click on the button accuracy comparison graph by clicking this button you can see whatever the algorithms which we have used in this project and x-axis indicates the label of algorithms and y-axis indicates the frequencies of accuracy in this graph we can found that ann algorithms accuracy is highest comparing to the all the algorithms close this graph and go to other button that is predict this is data set by clicking this button you can select the test data set and click on open button so it will generate the all the output based upon the highest algorithm in this project is ann algorithm you can see here samples and also no disease data set is predicted disease data set is predicted etc outputs now close this graphical user interface and uh, go to conclusion so in this project we have found that using ann algorithm classifier we have got the highest accuracy which was predicted in the best performance using the disease data sets of the diabetes so in this project by using disease uh, diabetes disease data set we can use ann algorithm classifier to predict the best output for us thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.